Hello, this is Sage the Balloon Sage, and today's balloon tutorial features this unique woven rainbow jester hat. With a few essential techniques, you can actually make several different versions of this balloon wearable, altering the size, the shape, the colors, smaller details, and total twisting time for complete creative control. Grab six 260s of your color combo choice and inflate them equally maybe a little more than halfway. The key to creating these hats perfectly is to not only twist identically on each of the six balloons, but to manually regulate the airflow in each via tiny adjustments, either forcing the air up or compressing it. That, you have to keep all of these even all of the time. Each hat begins the same way, with a friction sustained pinch twist, at the end of each balloon, all connected into a hexagonal base. The balloons intersect by repeating the same steps six times. Create a cylinder twist, I'm going to measure out to about like that, and tie the next balloon onto it. Now measure up again, and you want the same exact dimensions on this next one. I'll grab my yellow balloon, and we'll tie that one on. You just repeat these same steps, making it as even as you can, of course. Green, tie that in. Blue. And finally, the sixth balloon. Measure by hand, here. Which will finally form a full hexagon. Just like that. We will be twisting the classic jester hat variation because it includes all three essential techniques weaving, tail bubbles, and bubble weaving. So I'm going to assume you know how to weave, so we're just going to start out. I'm going to go with the yellow so the pink and purple are in the front. Make a small bubble, like so. Small pinch twist. Now, as it goes up, it tapers. You see these uh, cylinder twists get smaller and smaller. So just a little bit off the side, and you'll get that triangle effect. So make a little smaller than this side here. And again, even dimensions is key. So you can just estimate it. A little off on each side. Small bubble. Twist. On to the next one. So just keep doing that for the entire row. Once you've tied off your second row, you're going to continue. Another small bubble. Another small pinch twist. And this time it's going to be even smaller. On this hat, there's four rows. And then we begin the bubble weave. So you can get a look at the dimensions there. This one is smaller. Okay. Make sure all of these are even once a row is done. We'll check that right now. Double. Tie in. Just like that. And look at that. You want to make sure, see I'm making it just a little longer so it'll be even all the way around. And continue your spine on your hat, make a small bubble, a pinch twist again. Now this is going to be the smallest one yet, only about two or three fingers. Not quite a bubble, but still a cylinder twist. And small bubble. extensive right here because it's double bubble weaving. But uh, in this case it's pretty easy. Make sure these are all even or as even as possible before we uh, finish up here. 
It is hard to get the dimensions correct. I, I still have trouble. I made a bunch of these, but you do the best you can. Okay. So make a large bubble and a small one. Just like that. And you can still actually control the length of the final portion here with uh, these bubbles by either making them really full or really loose. So again, big bubble, small bubble, just like this. And you're going to tie it. Now you're going to do that with the others. Big bubble, small bubble, big bubble, small bubble. in the center, carefully. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. We're just about done. Now you may have one balloon that's a little longer than the others, but that's okay because what you can do is create a stabilization pinch twist for the center. So make a soft one over here, pinch it off carefully, make sure it's in the center, and then just kind of configure the balloons around it, tie them around, knot them up a bit, and put them back in their proper order. Okay, so everything's relatively even, it'll never be perfect. Now the next step for, at least for this version, we're actually going to push these final remnants of the balloon into these little holes. So I'll show you. So the yellow one, just push it down like that. Between the bubbles. Orange, do the same. Pink, purple. Make sure the bubbles are on top. Blue, green. Okay. It looks almost like a flower. It's best to do it with the yellow, but use whatever one will work at the time. So once they're mashed in there, make sure they're nice and mashed in good. We're going to do the final step, which is to create the tail bubbles. I guess you call them that. So you just grab a bubble, push it to the top. When they're short like this, it's a lot easier. So it doesn't have much uh, uninflated portion to travel up. There's the green, here's the blue, and the purple. And that's it. Now this particular version, unlike this one and some of the other ones, is actually a little bit hard to fit on the head. I'm going to see if this one fits. I got kind of a weird shape head. No, it kind of fits. But if you want to put a strap, that'll be even better. Of course, if you don't have time to do the full deluxe woven version, there are these much simpler versions with just two rows of weaving and tying it in the center with the rest and then adding those tail bubbles at the end. So much easier and still really awesome. As far as this one goes, this is my favorite. It's double bubble weaving and the same technique we did up here, just not pushing them down. So that's it. Thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial. I'm back. I've got a ton of stuff on the way. Check out Ask Me for a Balloon. and They're my buddies. They've got a ton of great decor, so you're going to want to check that out. Please like, please subscribe. Thanks for joining me.